Two days ago, we learned that House Democrats planned on initiating action today, Friday, to block Donald Trump's declaration of an emergency on the southern border. In that regard, things took a turn for the worst for the president today when it was made public that now Republicans could be jumping on board for the block. This comes as Rep. Justin Amash, Republican from Michigan, has joined Democrats in co-sponsoring the joint resolution. Amash is no stranger to breaking with his party and Trump himself, and at this time it is unknown if other members of his caucus will join him in voting for the resolution. The resolution is expected to be brought to the House floor on Tuesday, February 26th. In a tweet dated February 15, 2019, Amash's representative had this to say, a national emergency declaration for a non-emergency is void. A prerequisite for declaring an emergency is that the situation requires immediate action and Congress does not have an opportunity to act. At POTUS at Riald and Al Trump is attempting to circumvent our constitutional system. The tweet comes as no surprise to anyone who has rep. Justin Amash even remotely on their radar. About a year ago, he was one of the first House conservative Republicans to voice a concern over Trump's threatening to shut down the Mueller investigation and support for an independent commission. Amash could even be a rarity on Capitol Hill, particularly for a Republican. He also states in the below video that he has more confidence in Comey, referring to whom he believes between Donald Trump and former FBI director James Comey. The measure is being led by Congressional Hispanic Caucus Chairman Joaquin Castro, a Democrat from Texas. Castro had this to say today in a call from reporters. Right now, I believe that we're at about 226 or 227 co sponsors, including one Republican. Justin Amash, and I look forward to getting more support as the days go on. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is likely proud of Amash's move and bipartisanship. On Monday she sent a letter to members of both parties where she encouraged them to support the resolution, stating that she believes Trump's decision is an institutional assault against Congress. Released in full, on her .gov official website she states, in part, President Trump's emergency declaration proclamation undermines the separation of powers and Congress's power of the purse, a power exclusively reserved by the text of the Constitution to the first branch of government, the legislative branch, a branch co-equal to the executive. All members take an oath of office to support and defend the Constitution. The President's decision to go outside the bounds of the law, to try to get what he failed to achieve in the constitutional legislative process violates the Constitution and must be terminated. We have a solemn responsibility to uphold the Constitution and defend our system of checks and balances against the President's assault. You can read the full letter here. The move by House Democrats and some Republicans comes as Trump and his administration are facing pushback from every direction and mounting legal troubles over his fake national emergency.